Thanks, Steve. Voter turnout today, election time, seems to be pretty low. Let's check in now with Eyewitness News reporter Esme Carriega at Precinct 21 right now in Idaho Falls. Esme? Hi, Todd. Well, I'm here with Judge Chief Sandy Stacy of Precinct 21. Sandy, now earlier we spoke and you told me there's about 1,200 registered voters within this precinct. And so far, the numbers that have come, the people that have come in, has it reflected that. Sandy, do people still have time to register? Yes, they do. We are here until 8 o'clock tonight, so we have plenty of time for them to come in and register and vote. Okay, and what do they need to bring with them? If they have moved or they have changed their name and they need to re-register today, they need to bring a photo ID to prove um, that they are who they say they are, and they need to bring, uh, it could be a rent receipt or a driver's license if it has their current address on it, something or that, or t utility bill, something that indicates that that is their new address. Great. Thank you so much, Sandy. Appreciate it. Now, you only folks, you only have two more hours to get to the polls to vote. The polls opened at 8 o'clock this morning. Volunteers had everything ready. But before you could cast your vote, you have to be verified that you're registered and checked for a party affiliation. Now, the voting booths are open until 8 o'clock. Live from University's, University Drive, I'm Esme Kiriega. Esme, thanks for the update there. Now, voting, of course, continues in Bannock County right now. Eyewitness News reporter Misty Inglet is live at the polls there. And Misty, uh, how are things looking in Pocatello? Todd, I'm here at the red line where they have multiple precincts voting, and right now things are starting to pick up a little bit. They've been a lot more consistent and steady with voters coming out in about the last half hour or so, but workers say that most of the day it's been super slow and they're just not seeing the trends that they usually see from voters. You can see that earlier this afternoon, things were a hit and miss. A few people were voting, but not a lot. They had a slight rush while I was there, but workers say that that was the busiest they'd been up to that point. They tell me they usually see a lunchtime rush with voters, but didn't get that today. Since then, workers say it's been gradually picking up. A few precincts say that they've been steadier the last few hours than they were earlier this morning. They expect to see things pick up even more when people start getting off work, which would be about this time. And workers say then it typically starts to die off about 7 o'clock. But because they haven't been seeing the traditional trends that they usually see, that could be different this time around. Now the polls are open until 8 p.m. tonight, so you've still got plenty of time to get out and vote. Live in Pocatello, I'm Misty Inglet. Two hours, 21 minutes, 19 minutes. There you go. All right.